you are now at Ravi Chander's uh, kitchen on a monsoon evening. So what do we do? Something crispy? Somebody said the other day, the law is that when it rains, uh, basin, onions, green chilies and the rest must get together cohesively and get into oil and come out fried. That's their job. Something similar is what I have on the agenda for the day, but it's with a twist. The twist is I'm not using onions. I'm going to use a grated sweet pumpkin. Here is grated sweet pumpkin, not boiled, nothing. I've just grated raw. I've peeled the thick skin, grated it. I've taken about 150, 200 grams of grated sweet pumpkin. The other ingredients that I will be using is uh, some finely chopped coriander and curry leaves, some ground uh, green chili and a little piece of uh, ginger. I used about eight pieces of uh, green chili for about 150 to 200 grams of sweet pumpkin. I'll have salt to taste. I'll add a little bit of uh, rice flour to basin, mix them together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get basin into the bowl. I'm going to use some basin. I'm not using all the basin. Salt. It would seem that the salt is a little more at this stage because the grated uh, sweet pumpkin hasn't come in. So all of which I am adding will look a little disproportionate at this stage. About two heaped spoons of the paste of uh, green chili and uh, a small piece of ginger. Some finely chopped coriander and curry leaves. A little bit of hing, optional again. You're free to add alongside the green chili and the ginger a clove or two of garlic if you like the smell and taste. I'm not much of a garlic guy. Then I take a spoon of uh, rice flour. This is to ensure that the end product is crispy. Some cooking salt, some uh, cooking soda or eno salt. Some amount of chili powder. This is again, you want it spicy or you don't want it spicy. Is how you take a call on it. I've used a little more chili powder as you would have noticed and that is because the sweet pumpkin is going to be a tad sweet and you'd like it not to be very sweet when you're eating it. What I'm going to do is I have some heated oil here. I'll take a bit of it, add it to this mixture. Now I will get the grated sweet pumpkin into this mixture and mix it. Now you will realize that the quantity of basin is far less than what this mixture would take in. I held it back because I knew that there will come a time when this mixture would require more basin. Now take the basin and add it to the mixture and mix it properly. The oil is hot. Tip your fingers a little with some water. Ensure your hands are dry. The dumplings. I would like it even to be a little drier but that's all right. The dumplings should go into the oil gently.
to the non-professional user, the technique is ensure that the oil is in low flame when you're putting the dumplings and then increase the heat. Fry them till they reach a golden brown. Ensure that they don't get darkened or reddened. Uh, they've reached the color I want them to be, which is golden brown. You can see them. See them in the golden brown uh, color. Ensure that as little oil from the frying pan gets into the dish. Ready with the presentation of sweet pumpkin pakodi. Nice monsoon evening. It's uh, promising to rain and even if it's a drizzle, it's a lively idea. It goes with coffee, it goes with tea, it can go with a drink later in the evening. Uh, I've also had some chili sauce, dressed it with some plain onions. And I also have some groundnuts there and uh, happy eating, happy viewing. Do correspond and let me know how you like the dish. Uh, before I sign off, acknowledgements to Ritika. Abhinav, Datu, and the new entrant into the crew, Pooja, Datu's sister, who's also helped us with the logistics. Bye-bye, till I see you again.